out the helmet so I can talk a little better. Um, the group I'm with is called the Society for Creative Anachronism. It's a medieval reenactment group which reenacts medieval life from around the world from the years 450 AD to 1600 AD. Um, my particular persona is kind of a uh, schizophrenic. I'm, I'm a 10th century Highlander when I'm in regular regular clothes, my kilt and everything, and I, I'm a 16th century samurai when I'm in my armor. Um, it's not a really specific group, they just try to do your best to recreate what you think is fun. Got the question for you. Okay. What's the most extreme thing you've ever done, Todd? We go extreme backpacking at night. We tie blindfolds, put on a full backpack, and just run through the woods till you hit something. Hey, what's the most extreme thing you've ever seen? Extreme thing, music related or non-music related? That was pretty extreme. That, that was Bill the bassist. Ah. Bill the bassist, the, the, the class clown, obviously. Um, yeah, music related. What was the most extreme music that you've ever seen? Oh, geez, John Volby, um, make, making a, a rather large woman take off her shirt. That was definitely extreme. On the next Be Extreme, you too can learn how to be on your own local community access channel. And uh, all you need is a VCR and a camcorder. And you too can have your own show. And that's right, stay tuned and we'll tell you everything you need to know about running your own show. But keeps on telling me he's got to set the pace. Doesn't really care about all my capabilities. He's just looking for a rock of things. I'm the sweetest in the world. But I've just got to be the captain of my own ship. Sharing the sea of my own. the most extreme thing you have ever done? Uh, well, the most extreme thing I've done, I probably couldn't say on TV, but the most extreme thing I've done recently is uh, ran down Allen Street with no pants on for $40.
I have ever done is bungee jumping in uh, above the Ottawa River, 150 feet. You know, I I didn't think that that was anything, you know, too too bad. 150 feet. How far down can that be? But uh, the bungee that I had, actually, well, I was able to go into the water up to my waist, upside down, and it was kind of interesting because when you go down and starts to jerk you back up, all the water goes up your nose. So I am dangling upside down with water coming out of my nose, but. <laughs> I'm going to do my Mike Tyson in an imitation. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> 